so um, at that time IAD has a contract with Al Mishka. Um, this was because of the liabilities because he was running the school and IAD was helping him but all the responsibilities was with the Al Mishka. So therefore we allowed him to use the name Al Mishka and IAD has a relationship or a bridge relationship overseeing the school or in other words our relationship with the Al Mishka was a, a relationship of help. We were trying to help him in whatever capacity we could. So Alhamdulillah that school was also uh, very successful. Again, the census stays between 50 to 60 students is mainly in at the elementary level. Uh, so during uh, our Alham school phase, I should mention since um, this is history, some of the members who really contributed. There are number of, 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 of community members who helped us, but some of the members, I should mention their names. Um, uh, for example, Brother Bashir Mansouri, um, I think, and his, his wife, Sister Samra, uh, they both were the backbone of the school. In fact, they worked so much for the school that people called it as a Bashir's school. Mm -hmm. And then Brother Pracha was a great help. Brother uh, Khalid Motorwala, uh, Brother uh, Khalid Oveda, who came uh, from New York, and he was a principal over there. And he came here, he joined the school, became the president for a one year, and um, he managed the school very well also. And then he had his job shifted, he went back. Um, in, uh, other uh, and sister uh, uh, Rizwana Siddiqui, sister S uh, Salma Siddiqui, and uh, many other uh, members. Khalid Motorwala was another person who helped the school. Brother Shafiq was another person who helped the school a lot. It was like a very uh, much like a family type of environment. One thing I should um, inform, though we have many mishaps, but few things we managed in the Alham school. One of the thing is that the board of the Alham was always work like a one unit. Uh, they sit together, discuss, even if they have a different opinion, but at the final conclusion, whatever the decision, that is the decision of the board. They never, after the decision, you will see a, any email coming out that I don't agree this, I don't agree that, or anything like that. So the good thing about Alham was they were able to develop a very good Islamic environment and to run the school according to Quran and Sunnah, according to um, consensus opinion. Um, how there was no po po politics in the school. The school was working like a one unit. People who were uh, coming and helping the school were really dedicated person. They were not coming for the reason you can say is for any political game. So these are the few things we learned uh, how Muslims can work together as a close um, um, group or you can say like a family unit. Mm -hmm. Now from 2008 as you know that the Al Mishka started and we started making the school at that time my goal was to uh, develop the constitution for the upcoming school because we know that the building will be over soon. Ex in fact, we were expecting the building will be over in a couple of years, but it took more than the expected time. But uh, uh, but Alhamdulillah, by 2011, uh, we uh, we managed to start the school. So, uh, as you know, that it is it was not easy to develop a constitution with so many differences in the ISD board. Uh, but there are a few things which I had in my mind, though I had to write the con constitution, I, I would say about 8 to 10 times. Each time when the constitution was presented to the ISD, there are so many objections. So we have to delete 1 and 2 and 3 and so many things we have to do. So ultimately we realized that uh, we, had, we had to find some way to develop some constitution which everybody agreed so that we start the school. But few things I had in my mind that to develop the same uh, closeness and unity which we had in the Alham in the IAD also. And I think 
a part of the constitution which is, is still working, the constitution is still working, the same constitution has shown that the group can work together if they want to, mm -hmm. without the interference of, of, uh, of any other external organization, including ISD. Now, during this period, when the building was formed, obviously it's a big project and uh, um, they spent around uh, more than a million dollars. Um, it was a uh, it was a concern that how we could manage the school because as I mentioned that during the early phases we were not able to get more than 50 60 students and we did many surveys we consulted many people the there was a, a conflict of opinion some people think when there are so many good school why to send to Islamic school and other people say that okay we can teach children in the evening Quran and Sunnah so there was complete opinion and there are only few people we always found and those few people generally are those who are from the middle class family so they couldn't afford high fees so when once the Alham uh, when, once the IEDU school in the new building was formed our, our fear was how to manage the school and there was so much uh, fear that people were thinking whether we will be able to survive, whether the school was viable with 50, 60 school and uh, a building uh, worth of million dollars and their utilities will be thousands of dollars and we were planning to pay uh, thousands of dollars to the uh, teachers and, and taxes. How are we going to survive? And uh, so, so during this period, there is another school which was formed. I think they had the same fear in their mind, uh, which is known as Tarbia. And uh, Tarbia was also started uh, uh, as a home school, a schooling, and then uh, they also um, got good success. And ultimately, they uh, find a place in Old Baltimore Pike. So my initial goal was when I realized that there is a Tarbia, there is an IED my uh, initial goals was to bring them together in in whatever capacity uh, we could because to use the community resources together is much better to than to divide the resources that was the idea behind again we had multiple meeting and uh, finally we realized as we are growing the census was also increasing i couldn't believe that in the first year in the um, IED school, we have a consensus which we could not even afford. I mean, we have over 160 or 150 students approximately, and about the same amount that we had. So I realized if we had one school, how could we even survive? None of the school uh, was allowed to have more than 160 or 150 students. That's the maximum they had. And Alhamdulillah, with so much going on, the building was there, the Tarbiya has another building, so much in, uh, in the community that they started, uh, more and more people started sending children. So what we expected at one time to have one school, now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying with this little mm -hmm. effort, now they have almost about 250 to 300 or, or more students going to Islamic school. And people were coming even from Wilmington and far places. Not only that, many people started moving to deliver uh, just because they have a uh, better uh, schooling system mm -hmm. because i know that whenever there, there are islamic school and there are good muslim community and mosque people try to move in that region and that's applied to chicago that's applied to new york that applied to new jersey i myself because at that time uh, alham couldn't afford um, to provide um, classes uh, in, 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 uh, for the 6th and the 7th grade, uh, grade so I had to send my daughter to Al Ghazali which is around 130 miles from, from here and for that my wife had, has to uh, relocate, uh, has to uh, live there and she has to come back during the weekend. So I, I went through, through the, that struggle uh, how difficult it is and I know some other brothers who sent their children to a uh, school to Ar-Rahman then they had to commute every day and but now they realized there are two good schools so they started sending children and many more uh, Muslims started moving to this town 
so we we could see the need is automatically we were expecting 50 60 students and now we have certain as uh, suddenly over 300 students and 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 getting good islamic education and i'm hearing very good uh, 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 things about both the schools both tarbiya and the ied that they are doing a good job and uh, i think at this point we have to take into account uh, that the momentum is there and we shouldn't um, um, uh, we, we, we shouldn't stop that momentum we should utilize that momentum as both the schools are working to bring them together because now the need is to develop a high school and 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 the high school could only be possible in my view if both the school work together and the reason is very simple number one high school is much costly than the elementary and secondary school number two is uh, um, uh, parents have more expectation from the high school than from the elementary school because i have seen uh, parents could send their children in the, at the elementary level but when it comes to the secondary level and the high school they want to see what are the standards so so it is very important that the uh, uh, al, uh, that the tarbiya and the isd should come together and start working for the purpose of developing high school and at the same time you see that um, that uh, nowadays uh, particularly this is the month of ramadan and you have seen there are so much difficulties even in the parking for the salat for the for the travi at the isd level so definitely there is a need to develop more mosque or expansion of the isd obviously at that place where the isd is is not possible to provide any expansion so and the road also would not allow because the, the road is so small and uh, so i think i think at this time uh, the community member um, should particularly those who are um, um, uh, who have the uh, executive positions and 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 the community have given them the responsibility they should work together to utilize that momentum to develop a high school and and that is this is the right time they should work together work with the uh, um, isd and tarbiya together to develop a um, high school and uh, i'm pretty sure there are lands available buildings available if they uh, if they come together they could certainly be able to buy and when the community see them uh, the, uh, they are all together probably they will give more donations i have seen in the past uh, myself my uh, my always expectation was how could we do that and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has proved that all these things are done by the help of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as i mentioned that i was hopeless and i certainly found 20000 dollar check and um, when I, i i was thinking how could we we buy a building and then we found even brother ahmed uh, i mean knocking my door okay let's go brother uh, by the church so this this type of community we have alhamdulillah so um, and if 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 we miss that opportunity um, uh, then i don't know how, uh, how uh, this is the golden time uh, and if we miss this opportunity i think we probably miss a very important chance to develop a very good high school माशा काफ़ी चीज़ें आपने हिट कर ली हैं माई क्वेश्चन वुड बी गोइंग फॉरवर्ड वर्किंग टुगेदर इज वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट यू हैव पॉइंटेड आउट हाउ कैन इस्लामिक स्कूल्स डिवेलप रिसोर्सेस uh what could be some of the things that the, that the schools could do um to develop for example labs uh transportation system um uh, teachers uh, qualified teachers their salaries all these things how can they manage these things how can they develop these resources obviously as i mentioned um 
the help of the Allah is with the unity. Whenever in the history Muslims were united, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them success. And I can say um, uh, by the help of Allah, the community has enough resources to develop a high school. Obviously, the first thing is we need to have a qualified principals and executive positions. And Alhamdulillah, our uh, community has that resources. Like um, um, uh, we, we have um, principals in the IAD, we have principals in the Tarbiya, both are well educated. Um, um, then we can utilize them to educate the uh, teachers. We, Alhamdulillah, have uh, um, good teachers, uh, certified teachers in the community. And many of those certified teachers are working for the government schools. Um, they can be utilized. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are uh, uh, similarly transportation, um, 